Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And on this Editing Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to dodge and burn your portraits to give that extra punch with the curves layer in Photoshop. Now, this editing tip was sent in by a fantastic portrait photographer, Derek Ong with Phoenix Photo Design. Derek does some pretty amazing work. Let me actually pull up one of his portraits for you here so you can take a look. I've known Derek for a while now as he's a member in my private Facebook group and he participates in a lot of the 52 week challenges that I host over there. And I think, I'm not completely sure, I might have to check, but I think he has won the top spot in those photo challenges more than any other photographer there. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you would like to see more of Derek's work and learn how you can get in on that photo challenge, you can click the link in the description below, or you can go to CozyClicks.com forward slash burn. Now, before I get started, I always love knowing that you're here. So if you're here and watching today, leave me a comment below. Just say hey, and that you're here watching with me today. I always appreciate your comments and likes. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our adjustment layers, and I'm going to click this circle right down here, and I'm going to select curves. When I do that, our curves box pops up and I'm going to click on this line here right in the middle and I'm going to drag it up slightly and to the right just a little bit. You'll notice if you drag it up too far, you're going to start to blow out a lot of the highlights. So you want to be careful it's not too much, just enough to kind of brighten the entire image. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to make sure that this layer mask is inverted and I can do that by hitting control or command I. Then I'm going to name this layer dodge just so I remember that this is the brighter layer. Let's click out of there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another curves layer by going to the adjustment layers and selecting curves. But now when I click on this line, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And when I do that, you can see that the whole image gets much darker. Once again, I don't want to overdo it and make it completely black. I just want to bring it down to give it an extra bit of darkness. Then I'm going to invert that layer and I'm going to call that one burn, just so I remember that that's my darker layer. Now, when I use these dodge and burn layers, what you're going to do is you're going to brush on the lighter parts with this dodge layer and the darker parts of your image on the burn layer. Let me just bring this photo in just a little bit more. And I'm going to start with this dodge layer. Remember, that's our brighter layer. And I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to make sure it is soft and the opacity is at 100. And I'm going to start by just brushing on the areas that already have some natural highlights. So I see she's got some natural highlights there, these little parts of her nose, right here on her shoulder there's some extra highlights, here in her arm, there's some folds in her dress that have some more natural highlights. If I look in the background, I can sense there's parts of this cave right here that are more lit up than others. So I'm just going to kind of brush on those areas that are more lit and that's just going to kind of accentuate those highlights a little bit more. Now I'm doing this kind of quick right now just to show you an example, but on your photo, you may want to take your time finding those areas that have the highlights and the shadows. Okay. So once you've gone and you've painted on the areas that have those highlights, we're going to do the same thing on that burn layer. So I'm going to click on the burn layer and now I'm going to look for areas that are a little bit more shadowy, like here on her neck, I might bring in and under her chin, maybe on this side of her nose and on her forehead and on this side of her arm. Now, as I do this, I'm noticing that my burn layer is a little too dark. I don't know if I'm loving that, but I'll show you how to fix that in just a minute. 
I'm also going to go over some of these folds of her dress. I know I did that with the, the dodge layer, but there are some shadows in these creases, so I'm going to go through there. And then I'm just going to accentuate some of the darker areas of the cave. So the areas that already had a lot of shadowing, I'm just going to add in a little bit more. Be right in here and right down here. All right, let's zoom back out of this so we can take a look. And remember I told you it did look like there were some areas that were just a little too dark and too light. We can kind of see the brush here. That's an easy fix. If you're finding that it looks a little fake or just a little overdone, all you have to do is click on the layer and we're going to pull down that opacity just a little bit. So instead of 100%, I might have it at 54 looks pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing with that dodge layer. I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so it doesn't look super fake. Okay. And that looks pretty cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take these two layers and I'm going to group them together. You don't have to do that, but I want to show you the before and after. So if I've grouped both layers together, here is my before. And here's the after, and it just kind of gives it an extra punch in your photo, creates that bit of contrast and dimension, and that's the only bit of editing I did here. So that's pretty cool, pretty efficient, and the more you practice with this technique, the better you will get. Thanks to Derek for sending this tip in. I think it's awesome. I think you should give it a try, and if you do, I would love to see your results. If you're over on Instagram and you do post a picture using this dodge and burn technique, mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks so I can check out what you're doing. Thanks so much for watching. I would love if you would subscribe to the channel where I will be adding new tutorials all the time. Thanks for watching. To learn more about basic photography, finding the light, and getting creative with your portraits, you can join me in my free online workshop, The Photography Bootcamp. Register for that by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash bootcamp.